Back in late 2008, you could buy this HP 6730B business class notebook for just under $1,500 in Australia. Today we're here to see just how much performance we can get out of it and which games it is capable of playing. So let's find out just what this machine can do after a word from today's sponsor. Alliance is a classic for a reason. It combines the best elements of top RPGs into one exciting game. What I like most about the game is the seemingly endless combination of heroes that really put your skills to the test. If you love crazy giant boss battles, never-ending hero combinations and massive guild battles, all from the convenience of your smartphone, what else do you need? Go to the description, click on the link to download the game and get 50,000 gold and 50 gems for free. Taking a look around the laptop, it has a decent selection of ports. Starting from the front, we have 3.5mm audio in and out, two USB 2.0 ports, Firewire, an expansion card slot, S-Video, VGA, Ethernet, modem, a COM port, rewritable DVD drive, two more USB 2.0 ports and an SD card reader. Boy, I sure do miss when laptops actually had a lot of ports. Something I don't miss is just how heavy and bulky laptops used to be though. This one is definitely on the heavy side at 5.95 pounds, which is roughly 2.7 kilograms. Not something you'd really want to be carrying around with yourself, since it's quite old and the battery life is not great. Something that is great, however, is the keyboard. There's plenty of travel when each press is firm with a definite click. The display, on the other hand, is fairly average basically what you'd expect for the time. It's a 15.4 inch 1280x800 16x10 display that isn't very bright and off angle viewing is pretty bad. Overall it's a pretty solidly built laptop, so how well can it game? This laptop is powered by a dual core Intel Core 2 Duo T5870 clocked at 2GHz with integrated 4 series Intel graphics. Combined with 4GB of RAM this is definitely not likely to perform well at all. So to start off we'll see how Minecraft runs. At the native resolution I managed to get around 10 to 30 frames per second with the performance enhancing mod Optifine installed and the view distance set to 8. I've also selected 3 games on Steam to try out. First of all let's give BeamNG Drive a go. On the lowest settings at the native resolution I managed to get around 5 frames per second. However when I dropped the resolution to 640x480 it was a far more impressive 10 frames a second. Just kidding this is so choppy and unplayable. Even the HP stream I reviewed a few videos ago did better than this. Up next is Counter Strike Global Offensive, a somewhat less demanding title, which actually crashed every time I tried to load a game. If my internet connection was a lot better I would definitely try using GeForce now. I can however try using Steam in home streaming which uses the power of my main computer to stream the game to whatever Windows or Mac device I want. This is basically what GeForce Now does, except locally. First of all I streamed BeamNG Drive, which ran great aside for some dropped frames and artifacts. These are likely due to me using a Wi-Fi connection for both the host and client computers, as well as traffic on our network. This is still a massive improvement over running the games from the laptop itself. Counter-Strike Global Offensive also ran great minus dropped frames and blocky artifacts. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds also ran extremely well using Steam in home streaming. The latency was fairly low and the image quality overall was really good. So can you game on a 10 year old laptop? The answer is, well, sort of. If you have access to GeForce Now, Steam in home streaming and a good connection, you can definitely game on an old laptop such as this. However, as a standalone gaming experience, the lack of dedicated graphics and a very outdated dual core CPU puts this machine very low on my list of laptops I would choose to game on. I'd take the HP Stream 11 using Steam in home streaming over this any day of the week due to its small size and great battery life. Once again, thank you so much for watching. On screen are some of my recent videos. If you've enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, definitely consider supporting my channel by subscribing and giving that bell icon a ring to stay updated on my latest videos.